Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as I'm sure a lot of you already know at this point, Global officially hit top grossing for the uh, Int Legendary Super Saiyan Broly banner and received some Dragon Stones, which is pretty nice. You know, I'm definitely happy about that, but to be completely honest, I am a little bit disappointed by the overall amount of rewards we got this time. At least compared to previous years for last year's Saiyan Day Celebration and the year before that, we got a lot more stuff than we did this year. And I think I know the reason for that, but before we say anything else, let's quickly pop into the news and uh, see what they say in the in-game notice. So here we go, it says first place achieved, thank you for your passionate support. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle has officially achieved first place on Apple App Store in Luxembourg. Shout out to Luxembourg, by the way. The Operation Team hereby expresses our sincerest gratitude for your support to celebrate achieving first place in Luxembourg. We are giving out rewards to all players in the form of seven Dragon Stones. And I don't want to sound ungrateful. I'm definitely, you know, glad that we at least got something because top grossing was definitely not guaranteed, especially early on, it looked like none of the regions were going to hit top grossing this time around, and then Luxembourg clutched it and got us that number one placement in the Apple App Store. So that's good, for sure. But the reason I'm slightly disappointed is because for the past couple of years, let me just quickly pop over to my browser here. Yeah, for the past couple of years, like for example, last year with the AGL Bardock, um, you know, top grossing, we actually got 30 Dragon Stones, some training items, Hercule statue, and also a good amount of orbs. Like, this was not insignificant. That's enough orbs to at least get an AGL unit to like, I don't know, like 55, 69%, something like that. And this year, all we got was 7 stones with no extras, right? And if you look at the region that hit top grossing, it was only one region. And it was also the same region as this year in only one store, right? It says, uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle has achieved first place on Apple App Store in Luxembourg. The operation team hereby expresses our sincerest gratitude. Maybe their sincerest gratitude is just not worth as much this year. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it's just kind of weird, right? That, that like we got, you know, so many more rewards last year for hitting top grossing in the same store, in the same region, just one region, right? And if you look at the year before that, for the, uh, no, actually, wrong page here. If you look at the year before that, it was for the Super Saiyan uh, Vegeta, the transforming Vegeta, and we got 37 stones for achieving first place on the Google Play Store and Apple, uh, Apple App Store at the same time in France. So this was one region once again, and uh, I assume that it was 30 stones for hitting top grossing in general, and then an extra seven stones for the extra uh, app store, right? And as you can see, extra rewards too, some Hercule statues, story keys, and also some orbs. So uh, yeah, just significantly less rewards this time around, you know, only seven stones compared to 30 plus extras plus a lot of orbs. This year I thought, and I think it was justified to assume that if we did hit top grossing, then we would get 30 stones once again, maybe some Hercule statues, maybe some story keys, maybe some training items, and then the same amount of orbs as previous years, except Int instead of AGL or Fizz, right? Now, as I said, I think the reason that uh, we didn't get the same amount of rewards is because in previous years, JP also hit top grossing at the same time um, as Global, so both sides received the 30 stones and all that stuff. Whereas this year, I don't believe JP actually hit top grossing for the Broly banner, which is surprising to me because Broly is a extremely hype unit, I think, for most people, right? Um, as I said before, like maybe it's because the Z Broly is not as exciting anymore since we have the new Broly, the Dragon Ball Super Broly, and I think a lot of people do prefer the Dragon Ball Super Broly to the Dragon Ball Z Broly, so maybe the Z Broly has lost a, a bit of his shine or something like that, but that's just pure speculation. Um, I'm honestly pretty shocked that JP didn't hit top grossing at the same time as a global, and um, I guess in that sense, maybe it's a little bit more justified for us to get less rewards 
But even so, even if it was less stones, um, you know, they could have given us some orbs still, right? Like, they could have given us the extras. It could have been seven stones, some training items, and also some uh, potential orbs, right? Like, this is a lot of orbs. Like I said, like, you can almost, not rainbow, but, like, get a unit to halfway rainbow with those orbs. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not, like, super upset about it. I'm definitely not nearly upset about this as I was for the um, support item issue, the support item bug. And I'm not gonna go crazy in this video and just like complain or anything like that. It's just, I was expecting a little bit more and I want to explain, <clears throat> what is going on with my voice? Hold on, I need some water. <laughs> okay, yeah, my bad guys. Um, The point I'm trying to make is like, it is just, such a insignificant amount of stuff compared to what we normally get and I hope that this doesn't really become a trend um, I think that when it comes to Dokkan in Japan they're facing a lot more competition even from themselves you know from the same company like Bandai now you know is focusing on Legends a lot and obviously they're still supporting Dokkan but Legends is really on the come up so it's really rising and uh, when it comes to like the uh, market share of the, you know, Dragon Ball Z mobile game space, I guess, Legends is taking up a lot more of that market share, okay? So I think for that reason, people are, you know, spending less money on Dokkan since more people are spending money on Legends and there's a lot of people that just can't spend a ton of money on both. Uh, unless like a huge whale, then in that case, you're probably spending the same amount. But as people start to play Legends more, they're spending less money on Dokkan, right? So I think that's why, that's, that's probably a big reason why um, Dokkan did a hit top grossing in Japan for Saiyan Day for the, for the Broly banner because, you know, Legends is doing all this crazy stuff, right? So, what can you do? That's just how it is. I don't think, you know, Dokkan's gonna die anytime soon. I don't think it's going away anytime soon. It's just, um, it's probably gonna be harder and harder to hit top grossing. Uh, in Japan specifically, and on global, I feel like it's been slowing down a bit as well. Even though it's like, you know, we still only hit one region last year and the year before that, so it's not a huge difference. This year we also hit, you know, top grossing in one region. But uh, I think as, as time goes on, it's just going to be harder and harder, more and more rare to see top grossing stones and see top grossing rewards, um, unless it's like a major celebration, like an anniversary or something like that. It's sad, it sucks, but... That's just the reality of the situation, you know? Um, one last thing before we go is, uh, you know, normally when we get top grossing stones, I would do a multi, but this time around, we only got seven. And also, uh, well, there's a couple reasons. Um, <laughs> the other reason is I already rainbowed my Broly. Uh, if you guys missed my collabs from the past couple of days, make sure to go check them out. They were awesome, as you can tell. So, uh, yeah, there's no reason for me to summon on the Broly banner anymore. There is the new legendary summon for the str broly since his easy is out now but this banner um is terrible for me i mean of course my str broly is already rainbowed but everybody else on the banner is rainbowed too and it's six ssrs which is better than your average legendary summon banner but still not great i mean your race to pull broly is like still less than a percent and considering how old he is and uh, just like the fact that I mean, I just thought they were gonna give him the treatment of like the other EZA units and make it like three SSRs. <laughs> Maybe that was asking for too much because he is an LR after all. So, uh, I guess I'm not overly surprised. But yeah, it's not a great banner, so I'm definitely not gonna touch this one either. So no summon today. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the situation, guys. Top grossing for global. Hey, at least we got something. At least we got something. So there's that. And uh. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about that. Are you still disappointed? Are you okay with it? You know, are you grateful for the fact that we just got some stones, right? Like, I think that's a good way to look at it. You know, don't uh, disappoint yourself for no reason, I guess. But uh, I was expecting a little bit more, if I'm just being, like, super honest with you guys. But anyways, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows 
you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.